In April of 2014, ancient astronaut theorist Giorgio Tsoukalos traveled to Walker Air Force Base in Roswell, New Mexico to meet with the city's mayor, Del Journey, and to get a rare look at the hangar where the Roswell wreckage and extraterrestrial bodies were allegedly first taken. Wow. This is huge. So what do you think? Man, I have goosebumps right now. I mean, we're walking on history. It's amazing, isn't it? And are, you, are you familiar where the spot is, where they actually Well, you know, the information that I have says that it's probably right over here in the corner. Uh, they took them over there, did a, an examination of the bodies. So this is where it was. This is it. Yeah, come on in. They have the debris out here in the hangar area, and they bring the bodies inside this room. I really don't know what to say, because, I mean, if this was it, you're standing where, it, yeah. where extraterrestrial beings might have been. Where did the debris go? Where did it end up? Well, it ended up with the government, of course. I, my understanding is it took the bodies to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Certainly probably took the debris as well and have it well preserved in a military installation someplace. Roswell researchers suggest a government-sanctioned bond of secrecy has prevented witnesses of the crash and retrieval from coming forward publicly. But many did choose to come forward later in life, including the first military officer to arrive at the Roswell crash site, Major Jesse Marcel. According to his grandson, Marcel privately shared many details of his experience with the family. My grandfather, Major Jesse Marcel, he was the head of intelligence for the 509th Bombing Group. As a kid, basically around the dinner table, we talked about Roswell. And through conversations, we learned that my grandfather was the lead investigator into what has become known as the Roswell Incident. And when he was looking at debris, he couldn't make heads or tails or any sense out of what he was looking at. He had gathered some of the debris and decided to take it home with him. He kind of came to this idea that he said, you know, whatever this stuff is, it's very significant. It's going to change humanity. And I want my family to be part of it. This is very important. According to the family story, Major Marcel came home after his first visit to the site and laid the debris out on the floor of their kitchen. Some of the material was a strange thin metal, similar to foil, except when crumpled up into a ball, it would bounce back to its flawless state. Marcel also claims the metal was not the same material featured in newspaper photographs being held by his grandfather. There's a pretty famous picture of him holding a piece of debris, which is trying to just a piece of foil, basically, and it was weather balloon material. He grudgingly went along with the story, held it. And if you take a look at that, you'll notice that he's not looking at the camera. He's looking up somebody barking him orders. He fell in line uh, begrudgingly and did what he was supposed to do. 